And last but not least, I'd like to introduce David Lopez Sanchez, who is from the College of Social and Behavioral Sciences and the program MA Psychological Science. The title of his research is Single Trial Fentanyl Sensitization in Juvenile Rats. And his faculty mentor is Dr. Cynthia Crawford. Over 100,000 drug overdose fatalities in 2021. And 70% of that is attributed to fentanyl, according to the CDC. For the past 20 years, there has been an opioid epidemic that has ravaged the United States. And recently, there is an increase in overdose death in the younger population, in the young adults, in the juveniles. But what is fentanyl? Well, fentanyl is a fully synthetic opioid that is 100 times stronger than morphine, 50 to 80 times stronger than heroin. So as we can see, a very small amount of fentanyl produces the same effect as a larger quantity of heroin. Fentanyl is used to treat severe pain. However, it does come with some other effects like euphoria, hallucinations, and respiratory depression which is one of the main reasons why there are so many deaths. Now, with this increase in drug overdoses, there are very few studies that look at the addictive properties of fentanyl. So what our lab did is we looked at these addictive properties by measuring drug-seeking behavior. So we gave our juvenile rats, male and female, one of five doses of fentanyl, either a no dose, a very low dose, and everything up to a high dose. After injecting them with fentanyl, we placed them in these small chambers that monitored their behavior. Then, 48 hours later, all of the animals got a low dose of 100 micrograms of fentanyl, and they were placed again in the same chamber where we measured their behavior. What our results showed is that on the first day that they got that drug, those animals that got the high dose of fentanyl had a decrease in their behavior. Now, the most interesting portion, though, is that that second day that they all got that low dose, the animals got the high dose initially had an increased behavior. They became hypersensitive to the effects of fentanyl. They showed that drug-seeking behavior. This opioid epidemic is still affecting the United States, and the younger population is at great risk. And what we have shown is that being exposed one time prior produces this drug-seeking behavior, which is the hallmark of addiction. Thank you. Thank you, David. So how did you get involved in this research, and why did you choose the MA in Psychological Science? Uh, I got involved in this research since as an undergrad. Um, I was at undergrad here at this uh, university where I was in the biological psychology program. So the MA was a logical step, especially with the behavioral neuroscience concentration. And, you know, there's a lot of breakthroughs coming out in neuroscience that really, really attracted me. And especially drug addiction, you know, it, it affects everybody. So having a small part to find out what can we do to help address these issues really, really intrigued me. Excellent. And how did preparing for the grad slam give you a new perspective on this research? Oh, um, it gave me a great perspective. It, let me, it allowed me to take a step back and not get lost in the minute details that we all fall prey to, right? When we do our research, we just get lost in the small details. But it, it gave me that chance to step back and look at the bigger pic picture. And it's fascinating for us because we hear about fentanyl in the news, yeah. right? But, you know, to hear about the research that's going on, to try to solve this crisis, you know, mm. among rats, right? Yeah. So a lot of times the general public doesn't realize that these kinds of studies are so critically important. I think, as Ashley said, this teamwork, right, that comes together mm -hmm. to, to solve these important problems in society. So it has a huge impact when you look at it all together, right? Yes, indeed. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. This was excellent. Thank you.